Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Strikers. So, got one more game to go against Donkey Kong. So, let's do this. Also, as a side note, I hope you all enjoyed the Smasher Pass video. That was a lot of fun to make, so... Hey, maybe I'll make another one in the future, who knows? Maybe. But anyways, rank number one versus rank number two, but I got 12 points, so I pretty much already clinched the cup at this point, haven't I? Kinda takes the drum away, don't you think? <laughs> Alright, so Donkey Kong, uh, gotta say like it is, he's the biggest cheer in the game. You'll see why later, but uh, first, Super Strike! Start the game off with a Super Strike right away, and the fans love it, and hopefully the viewers as well. Yep, two seconds in, already up 2 nothing. Gotta love that. Now that's how you start a game. Yeah, notice how Donkey Kong just used his hands there? Um, last time I checked, only the goaltender is allowed to use his hands. What what gives? How's that not a penalty? Although, again, we are talking about a game where you can slam people into electric walls, too. So maybe Super Mario Strikers doesn't have any rules. Does that mean I should be afraid that someone's going to pull out a gun at some point, or a knife or something? Because, uh, yeah, if there's no rules at all, then what's stopping them from throwing fireballs and, you know, pulling out, you know, the Master Sword or something like that from Legend of Zelda or something like that and just cutting people up, you know? What's stopping them? I guess it's not very sportsmanlike, but, uh, clearly we don't care about sportsmanship here. That's, uh... I'm overthinking how I know, but seriously, it's just a funny thing about, like, could you just imagine if just out of nowhere, freaking, like, Wario son just pulls out a freaking atom bomb and blows up the whole stadium, and just casually walks over with the ball and kicks it into the now fully disintegrated nets into dust, like a Looney Tunes cartoon, like, that'd be hilarious. Oh, uh, if no one's ever made an animation of that, I so, so totally want to see that. That'd be freaking hilarious. Oh, and speaking of, uh, Louie Tunes, I've been watching, uh, Tiny Toons University recently. And, um, uh, pretty good show. I gotta say, it, it, I definitely prefer the original over this, uh, newer version. Par partially probably nostalgia, par partially just because I like, uh, I like the voice actors in the original better. I like, uh, some of the old jokes better. I missed a no-relation joke, but, uh... Eh, you know, still pretty good for what it is. I love the bromance between uh, Plucky and uh, Buster, for example, but uh, maybe I'll talk about that some other time in a uh, another video that I've got planned eventually. Probably not this week. I got a lot going on this week, unfortunately, but uh, not going to talk about that here. No, it's all private stuff that I'd rather not talk about, so I'm not going to talk about it. Instead, I'm going to kick this ball and kick it again, and oh, he blocked it, darn it. But seriously, I, I do have to ask, are there any rules at all in, in this, you know, soccer game? I mean, I just based on what I'm seeing, no. So it just makes you wonder, why? You know, why are there no rules? Like, again, what's stopping people from bringing in a gun for crying out loud? Just come in, just, oh, shun the knee, he's out for the game. You know, something like that. <laughs> you know, you know, what's stopping them from getting into fights and whatnot, you know, like hockey, you know, for example, like, what if two characters decide, screw this, I'm gonna throw hands at this guy and, you know, punch each other out or something like that. That'd actually be a cool feature, they should bring that in the next game. But they probably won't. They, yeah, there probably won't be a next game, considering, uh, Battle League, from what I can see, didn't do so great. Also, it's just me, is Luigi's foot not actually hitting the ball there. It looked like it was uh, beside his foot, not actually on his foot there, but... Okay, I guess it's just where a freeze frame, that's all. Okay, that makes more sense. That that actually makes a lot more sense. Now, this is the number two team right here, Donkey Kong, and I am crushing him. Ten to nothing, and we still got a little less than three minutes left. Like, rank number two team? Yeah, right. 
It's like in the NCAA when teams ranked really high and then they choke really hard and lose like by 50 points or something like that. Pathetic. In fact, I'll do exactly what the fans do. Assume they're the home. I get the away team. Overrated. Overrated. Yeah, I can't wait for football season to start. I'm excited. I love me some football. Are you ready for some football? Lord knows I am. Whether it's college or NFL or even, you know, even if it's like Division Three or something like that, college or whatever, it's still fun in my opinion. Football's fun in general, which just makes me wonder. Nintendo, why have we not received an American football game yet with Mario? That'd be awesome. Especially because the rugby games and the Mario and Sonic games are so much fun. It's like... God, this is such a great idea. Just imagine if they just made a full, fully dedicated Mario football game. That would be so much fun. But alas, Nintendo is a Japanese company and likely not going to do it then because uh, certain sports just aren't popular there. You know, soccer, I'm pretty sure, is decently popular, hence why they do a soccer game. And uh, I know for sure baseball is big in Japan. I mean, that's China. I'm thinking. I think it's Japan, though. Japan loves baseball, so hence why they make a couple baseball games. Makes me wonder why they haven't made a third yet, though. And of course, tennis and golf, you know, those are... I don't know those are popular in Japan, but at the very least, they're simple enough to make, so I can understand why they make those. But, but seriously, just imagine an Amer American football game featuring Mario and friends with all the power-ups and whatnot. That'd be freaking awesome. Or hey, if they did a Looney Tunes game, and you know, at... at uh, Getting tongue twisted here. That's how you could do, you know, all sorts of toony things and whatnot, like that episode of Tooniversity where they play uh, toony ball. That'd be awesome. Or hey, Buster Bust Loose on Super Nintendo had a fun little football game too, if I say so myself. I mean, it was incredibly short, but it was fun. That's what matters. It was fun. Although it was a bit basic, it was basically just run, pass, pass, run, and that's about it. But again. It was fun. That's what matters most of all. As long as the game is fun, that's all that matters. Yeah, I think that's the problem with movies and games these days. Is a lot of people, you know, given to hype too much. Like, you know, take Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, for example. You know, you're like, oh my god, Kingdom of the Planet Plan of the Apes. We love the last three Planet of the Apes. This is going to be awesome. Comes out. Oh. Um. Okay. I mean, I haven't seen it yet myself, but being such a big fan of uh, the last three Planet of the Apes movies, I'm very concerned, like, really concerned, because it's like, I generally find if you take that long of a break from a film franchise, odds are it's not going to come out good. And I hear it's over three hours long, too, and it's like, do I really want to dedicate that much time sitting in the theater? Like, even with a bucket of popcorn and a large soda, that's still a lot of time. Especially because, you know, time is one thing that I can't ever seem to find nowadays. Adult life sucks, what can I say? I wish I had time to watch watch this movie, I wish I had time to do this and do that. But unfortunately, that's adult life for you guys when you gotta work a full-time job. Eh, it sucks, man, it sucks, but, uh... I guess if there's any younger viewers watching this video, if I can just offer war advice, don't grow up too fast, kids. Because seriously, once you once you lose your youth, you're going to miss it. And a borrow a quote from uh, Grandma Longneck from uh, Lane Before Time 2. Kids are always in such a hurry to grow up. And then when they do, they wish they were young again. It's like, dang it. She pretty much hit the nail right on the head there. Like, man. That almost stinks in a way. Oh boy, here we go. Another super strike, and guess what? That means I got 20 points on these guys. Are you serious? Wow. How did you guys get ranked number two? Are you serious? What a joke. What a joke, am I right? Weak sauce. Oh crap, are they? Oh, nope. Oh man. I want to protect that shutout. Gotta protect it. 20 nothing. Come on, that'd be an awesome finish. Or even 21 nothing would be kind of cool, too. Oh, I just called it! Oh, yeah! 
Got the drinking age, yeah! Although you really shouldn't drink even when you tw turn 21, because, uh, trust me when I say this, alcohol really sucks. It, it really does. It tastes terrible. And, uh, what the heck? One more for the road, why don't we? Look, why don't we rub some more salt in the wound, right? Let's make it 23 to nothing, because I am such an unbelievable jerk like that. <laughs> oh, man. Donkey Kong, you really gotta reevaluate -evalu your team, pal. Your team is bad. But, anyways, folks, that's the end of this game. So, 23 0. Luigi wins the Flower Cup. Yay! So, let's grab our trophy, and then we can start the next cup, which is the Star Cup. Fantastic. All right, so 52 total shots, only 11 hits. I'm surprised, but yeah, I crushed them. And it looks like Mario finishes at rank two. He only had a 302 record, which isn't that impressive considering you know it's only five games in that one. So, uh, oh, Crater Field is now available. Cool. Let that again just show you how easy this game can be on rookie difficulty. So again, newbies. Don't be nervous about this game. You know, if you play Mario Strikers Charge or maybe Battle League and thought it was kind of hard, don't worry, play the original. It's pretty simple. So now on to the Star Cup. And again, we're leaving the Bowser tag off because I hate that stupid setting. And now it's time to play us the greatest character of all time, Yoshi. So, first opponent is going to be Wario. And uh, this is the first cup to feature everybody. So we'll be playing seven games. So I'm sure you're probably wondering then, how is this different from the Bowser Cup that we're going to be playing later? We'll talk about that after the intro, okay? I love Yoshi's intro. Just goes up to them, so like, like, eh, so angry. <laughs> uh, seriously, Yoshi, you have the best intro. Not only are you the best character, and the best dress in my opinion, not just because he, he's in blue and orange, and it's a really cool color scheme that looks really good on him, but best intro too. Best character, what can I say, but you already know that. Also, cool Super Strike. And boom. There we go. I love the flutter jump there. Pretty awesome. Gotta say, it's strange seeing Yoshi wearing uh, gloves, though. Like, wearing clothes, I can I can get behind that. In fact, I'd prefer it. I'd really like it if he wear clothes in more games. Like, that's almost this point on Mario Golf Super Rush. Everybody gets a cool golf outfit, but Yoshi doesn't. I almost thought that was kind of lame. Why doesn't Yoshi get, you know, a cool Waluigi outfit or something like that? Lame. So I like that Yoshi actually gets to dress up for the occasion. And, uh, yeah, it's cool. Cool Super Strike, like I said. What's not to like about Yoshi? Allow me to answer my own question. There is nothing to dislike about Yoshi. He is the greatest character of all time. <laughs> yes, we are the greatest species of all time. You humans wish you could be as good as us Yoshis. <laughs> We're so going to conquer the world someday. But anyways, uh, enough about that. Just because I'm not supposed to talk about that according to the Supreme Leaders, but I shouldn't, shouldn't be whispering that. But note to self, definitely cut this out. Don't want anybody to figure out that I'm actually Yoshi in disguise and playing World Domination. No, that, that wouldn't be good. Uh, what were we talking about again? The game. That's right, we were talking about the game. Uh, what do you want me to say? I've got nothing left to say. <laughs> yep, I'm already out of things to say, but uh, Star Cup, I would say, is a little bit more difficult than uh, Flower Cup. You know, you play more games, but the, the, again, the difficulty seems to go up a little bit, just a tiny bit. Really, the real challenge starts when you go to a professional and higher, though, in the Super Cup battles, which, again, we will show off. Don't you worry about that, but uh, for now, the difficulty is still pretty easy. The game gives you plenty of time to get used to before you play it on professional, so don't worry about that, newbies, if you want to try this game out. 
Uh, so how's the Bowser Cup any different than the uh, Star Cup, I hear you ask? Because uh, both of them have you play all the teams. Minus the one you're playing as for obvious reasons. This is Mortal Kombat, there's no mirror matches. Uh, the big base difference is that uh, the Bowser Cup goes on slightly longer in that there's a knockout round. Basically summing up, you gotta place in the top four, and the top four will face off in a uh, knockout round. So, uh, say you place first, for example, you play the uh, second seed or something like that. Yeah, the second seed, and then three and four will play each other. And then if you win that, the losing teams are eliminated. And then you play the team that won last one, and then they are eliminated if you beat them. And then after that, that's that. That's how you win the Bowser Cup. There's certainly no surprises, uh, that's for sure. There's definitely not, like, a surprise afterwards that I'm totally, you know, lying about so I as to not spoil it. And the whole reason I'm playing the regular cups instead of the Super Cups right away, that because I have to unlock them. It, it, there's definitely no surprise. Just, for, just forget about that. There's no surprise. What, what do you mean I'm known for doing this? You know, saying there's nothing happening afterwards and then something happening afterwards. Th this time, I mean it. There is nothing at all. No way. But anyways, uh, I actually got a decent game going with Wario this time. Unlike Donkey Kong, he actually scored. So, good for you, Wario. I'll, I'll give you that. I will give you that much. I mean, I'm still going to beat you, but, uh, you know, at least you scored. It's good for you. I, I mean, I'm sure you're just going to be, you know, back in the background after this game. But today you scored. Yay. Ah, oh, I just missed it. Darn it. Ah, oh, man. That sucks. Couldn't take advantage of him being unconscious either. Darn. Oh, well. That is what it is. I uh, couldn't think of what I was talking about uh, sports games and Tiny Toons earlier. Uh, has anybody ever played Wacky Sports? Pretty decent game, if I say so myself. It's basically just a mini game collection, but it's a decent mini game collection. You know, it's got some fun sport themed events. The only thing is, I wish there was more variety, because uh, after you beat the easier difficulties and move on to the higher difficulties, it's just the same sports again, only they're a little harder now. It's just. It, get, it gets stale after a while, unfortunately. I, I would love a remaster of Wacky Sports, but, you know, maybe make, make it more like a Mario Sports Mix, and, you know, put, you know, instead of a whole bunch of games and whatnot, just put in a couple games and make them really good and really fun to play, because, uh, it's pretty much, I'd love another Mario Sports Mix game, Nintendo. They include American Football there, and Baseball, because... Again, we really need a baseball sequel. We need another base Mario baseball game. We need a Mario football game. I'm talking American football, not the one where you use your foot like we're playing here. That's another thing I can address. Why, why do we call football here in America? Like everywhere else, they call foot soccer football. But for whatever reason, we mixed up and called uh, football, you know, football, American football, football, and we call it soccer, soccer when it's called football in the rest of the world. Why is that? I I really don't know. That That is an interesting question. Why did we do that? I don't know. I really, really don't know. Maybe I should look that up sometime. That that actually has me kind of curious now. But I guess in a way you could say football is the most popular sport in most countries that way. Yeah. American football is popular here in America, and I'm pretty sure soccer is pretty popular in other countries too. Not not all countries, obviously. Canada has hockey, and uh, I think Russia has hockey too. But uh, yeah, almost all countries love it. So yeah, I guess football and waste the most popular sport ever. Just depends on which version you're talking about, I guess. Which is again weird. Why did we call it? Why did we call soccer here? I don't get it. Especially because we barely even use our feet in football. It's like we kick the ball once in a while. But in soccer, you, you're you literally using your feet the entire time. So, what the heck? Why didn't you pick up the ball there, Critter? It went right to your feet, you fool! You fool! Ugh, Critter, you suck! Seriously! Just makes me wish I could pick a proper goaltender instead of having a critter all the time, but hey, still better than Bam Bam and uh, Charge. I will give him that much. 
But anyways, folks, I win eight to do eight to two the final. So hopefully you enjoyed my very weird rambling, cause uh, Lord knows I enjoyed uh, recording it. And uh, that's going to do it for me. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see y'all next time. Later.